People get very frustrated when it comes to jaw pain, TMJ, teeth clenching. There's a lot of symptoms that can go on with this headaches. I mean, the list can go on and on and on. But what it really comes down to is the way your teeth fit and the way your jaws align. They should come together in a way where when you close your mouth, it's a relaxed, neutral, comfortable position. That's what we call a neutral bite. A neutral bite position is kind of like if you're sitting in a chair and the arm rests are at the right level, you know, it's not too high, you feel jacked up, it's not too low, kind of right at the right spot, it's comfortable. In that same way, the way your jaws and teeth fit, you should be able to close your mouth and that closure, as the way you close your mouth, you close in a way so that your teeth and jaws fit. You're really forced to do that. And if that bite or mouth closure position is not restful and comfortable, that is, that position isn't a position in which your jaw muscles and head and neck muscles can rest, you're gonna have all these problems. So what do we do to correct this problem? Many of us have had this nagging, pain, annoying jaw thing going on for a long time, and we're just trying to figure out what to do about it. The first thing we need to do is we need to figure out what is actually causing your mouth or jaw closer position to be not neutral, uncomfortable, and not a position where you can rest. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at the way you close your mouth and jaws and the way everything aligns, and a good TMJ dentist has special training in actually determining how your mouth and jaw should close where it is restful and neutral. We can actually create an appliance that fits to your lower teeth that has a neutral restful bite position. And when you put this appliance in your mouth, you'll close your mouth and your jaw muscles and neck muscles will finally get some rest. You'll be like, wow, after wearing this thing for a few weeks, you'll feel like Somebody's turned the volume down 50 to 80% on that tension, and we'll be able to verify the position in which you are neutral. Usually it takes a few appointments. We'll have you come in, take certain measurements. I'll write a prescription for this neutral bite splint to be made. You'll come back. I'll put it in your mouth. We'll run through a few things. Just check it. See to it that it looks neutral. You'll go home for six weeks. You'll wear it mostly at nighttime. I'll have you come back, we'll check it. Everything will be a little more relaxed, we'll adjust it. And usually after a few appointments separated by six weeks, we'll have a verified neutral bite splint. And typically what we wanna do is we wanna see our TMJ patients undergoing this so-called neutral bite splint therapy, be stable, neutral, comfortable for a period of about three to six months. And at that point, we'll consider it to be successful splint therapy and we'll have a verified neutral position. We'll know where your bad bite is on your own teeth. We'll know where things need to come together for you to close your mouth for everything to be neutral and restful. So then what we'll need to do is we'll need to determine what needs to be done so that your bad bite, you know, things can be change, you know, that is the positions of your teeth, maybe the size and shape or the balance of your jaw alignment can be changed. That's how we change your bad bite into a good bite. I guess that's the most simple way to put it. At this point, we can actually also determine what really is the root cause of the problem. Maybe you had some recent dental work done, you had a, some crowns, some fillings, and your bite was fine, and now the new bite on those crowns and fillings is off. It may be just as simple as making a few adjustments. Maybe you had some recent orthodontics and your teeth have been moved around into a new bite position. And now when you close your mouth, the teeth aren't aligning in a neutral, comfortable way. It could be that in the new position, the teeth aren't fitting well. It could be by a little bit where you need some adjustments. It could be by a lot. The teeth may have in fact been moved into an entirely different position where they're not really gonna work out, even though they look nice and straight. You could have gotten some veneers where you had some tooth wear and they, they built your teeth back up and they're nice and straight, pretty white, but even though they look awesome, they're not functional and they're in fact causing the problem. 
It could be that when you were a kid, your mouth didn't really grow to be the right size and shape to begin with, and your teeth are in a smaller, more confined space, and you need some expanders to get your mouth to be a different size and shape, and the teeth need to be moved around. These are things that we'll be able to determine for you when you come into our office, but in order for you to feel better, to get rid of that clenchy, grindy habit, and to get rid of the jaw pain, we need to figure out what is preventing you from reaching a neutral bite position.